fam welcome back to another video and if you're new here hi my name is Tamina and I make videos on the life and times of a university student and I feel like that actually sums up the randomness and the spontaneousness on this channel so for today this is actually a true story because some of you came and approached me and asked me to make a video on how to look good with a Strathmore dress code so here's the video so let me not see a comment like no one no single soul Tamina this video I'll actually cry <laughs> for real I'll, I'll actually cry so the thing is our school has a very strict dress code i feel like it's the most strict dress code in africa i feel like it's actually the most strict dress code in the world if there's a school with a more strict dress code please tell me i'm waiting i want to know i want to feel connected spiritually to these people <laughs> If you can't relate to us and in your school you can literally wear anything, then you, I'm so jealous. Like, I'm literally so jealous. So anyway, let's just get to the video where I'll be giving like five styling tips from what I've gathered. Because let me tell you, in the first two weeks of school, I used to look horrible. Because I was not sure what we were allowed to wear and what we were allowed to wear oh that was correct what you are allowed to wear and what you are not allowed to wear so i think these five styling tips could be helpful to anyone and even if your school doesn't have like a dress code this a really cute outfit i feel like you can wear anywhere just switch out maybe the pants for jeans or something so yeah let's just get to the video <laughs> The first tip that I have for you guys is something that I came up with by myself last week and I was so proud of myself because I felt like such a YouTuber. <laughs> and this rule is for bottoms and tops. So here's the thing. If your bottoms are kind of loose fitting or are not the most perfectly fitting bottoms that you have, then you need to wear something that's like really well fitting and flattering on top and vice versa. So if your um, top is not as flattering or as well fitting and then, oh, what? Then you need to wear bottoms that are like really well fitting down you obviously wear bottoms down but you know what i mean so the rule is basically to just mix and match so make sure you're not wearing like baggy pants and a baggy top that way you just look like you've come straight out of bed or like you're just going to sleep right after the lesson which we're all going to do but we don't have to dress like we're going to do that right after you get what i mean so that's the thing that's what i basically do to avoid looking like i'm going to bed after class <laughs> So the second tip that I have for you guys is essentially building on the first tip anyway. So when I said we're wearing pants that are not as flattering or are baggy, I did not mean we're wearing pants that don't fit our waist. So for the second tip, make sure you get pants that fit your waist. Or if you don't get pants that fit your waist perfectly, get the elastic ones so that they can just adjust and like cinch your waist. Or you can get a belt so that any type of bottoms that you've bought that don't fit your waist perfectly, you just use the belt. And you see, if it fits your waist perfectly, then you don't look so weird. You know what I mean? No matter how big the pants are, if they fit your waist perfectly, then you don't look as weird. I feel like. <laughs> So the third tip um, is to layer up and layering up is imagine both for the cold and both for the heat. And if you're not in our school, you're not even understanding why you would need to layer up for the heat. But it's because you can't really be wearing a short sleeve every single day. We have to spice it up a bit. So I think the way you can spice it up in the heat is to layer up with a light material sort of blouse. Um, you can get like this in different colors, black, you can get this in like teal you can get this in any color that you want but make sure it's a very light material so that you're not sweating through and make sure you leave your blouse open and then just add a belt so that at least the air can pass through at least the air can pass through and you're not like sweating the whole day because sometimes when you're wearing clothes for school they're so hot and there's nothing you can do because you can't like take off your sweater because maybe you're wearing a camisole inside so that's the trick that i have for this is just to layer up with like blouses <laughs> So the fourth tip that I have for you guys is also building up on the third tip, which is just to layer up, but this time for the cold. And I think the cold is my favorite time to dress up in Strathmore because this is where you can really dress. This is where you can bring out your coats, your blazers, and your trench coats. Coats and trench coats. This is when you can really dress guys so for this one i would say you need to invest in like blazers you need to get like coats and you also just need to get like really bougie kind of coats to really spice up your outfit so maybe try getting like a black blazer and then a black short blazer a black long blazer and like really long coats because i feel like this really just gives you the look <laughs> it really just makes you look like you've arrived and i love this look i'm i'm always wearing it like i feel like if the fashion cop sees you with this look i think the only thing she'll call you to say she'll be like hi 
hi can you just come oh you look so nice today and you're gonna be like thank you thank you very much <laughs> you know what i mean like she cannot she can't call you for anything else i promise i promise she'll not call you for anything else so this is basically fashion cop um safe approved i think so So sadly, we've come to the fifth and final tip of today and for me, this is to accessorize and accessories for me are everything from necklaces, earrings, edges. Yes, I said edges. This is an essential accessory, guys. So what did I say? Earrings, necklaces, edges, belts and everything in between. And just make sure if you wear gold earrings and your belt buckle is gold, make sure you match those two. So if your belt buckle is silver, wear silver earrings. And if your belt buckle is gold, then wear gold earrings and necklaces. So for me, the major key over here for necklaces is layered necklaces. I also like the single pendanted pendant <laughs> the single ones and um yeah i like those as well but i really love the layered ones because i feel like they bring so much dimension to your outfit you could literally just wear a black um like turtleneck and then you just put this layered necklaces and you look effortlessly good and put together and then the second thing is earrings i really love earrings with like huge Hoops. Okay, these are not even as huge as the ones that I have, but you could best buy the pack from MRP that has from the really tiny ones to the really huge ones, so you can pick out whatever your preferences are for that day. And then for belts, just pick, make sure you get like a slim belt and like a really thick belt so that you can you can use just spices up your outfit guys and edges make sure to lay your edges before you go to school like for me if you know i'm having a good day and i woke up on time did everything on time my edges will be laid but if i didn't and i had like no time and i just look like uh, my friend tells me that when i come to class and i just didn't have a good day and i've not put any effort to my outfit he says it looks like I, I came and i look like this like hi i'm tamina and i just woke up that's what he says william i hate you for that but it's true so on the days that you just want to look good make sure you always lay your edges these days i always make like five minutes to lay my edges i legit until the last minute i'm going to be going down to get to school with the bandana on my head when i'm laying my edges i'm not i'm so serious <laughs> that's it for today tea fam i hope you found some of these tips helpful even if you're in strathmore or not and i hope you enjoyed today's video i'll see you guys in the next one and thank you so much for watching also if you're new don't forget to like and subscribe if you like such content and welcome to the family if you do and thank you so much for watching bye tea fam